In the 11th question, we have x cos inverse x upon under root of 1 minus x square. Now, how do we handle this? So, one of the ideas is, if you observe this, x upon under root of 1, x, 1 minus x square, this is some function for which we can find the integral, right? If we go about finding the integral, we can find that integral easily. Okay, and we can integrate that particular function basically, right? That's what we can do. What about cos inverse x? Cos inverse x can be taken as a first function, right? We can take cos inverse x as first function. So, let us take a look at, let us take a look at integral of x upon root 1 minus x square. You need the derivative of this, which is minus 2x. So, you multiply with minus 2 and you divide with minus 2. So, 1 minus x square can be substituted as t. I will substitute 1 minus x square as t and get minus 2x dx as dt. Okay, this becomes dt upon root t. So, t power minus 1 by 2, the integral will be t power 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 2 is okay. The integral will be t power 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2 plus constant. What is that equal to? So, this 2 goes minus square root of t which is 1 minus x square plus constant is what I get. So, this is what the integral of x upon root of 1 minus x square looks like. This is what you will get, right? Now, for integrating this function, i equals integral of, you have cos inverse x, you have x upon root of 1 minus x square dx. You can take this as v and you can take this as u, right? First function and second function. Once you do it, so the integral becomes equal to what? Therefore, i becomes equal to first function cos inverse x times integral of this. Integral of this is this minus root of 1 minus x square. Okay. What about constant? We don't use the constant at this stage, right? It's redundant. Minus integral of derivative of cos inverse x. What is that? Minus 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. Okay, and integral will be minus under root of 1 minus x square dx is what I'll get, right? This is the Maha integral. Okay, and what do we have? Minus root of 1 minus x square cos inverse x and this becomes a minus integral of this becomes plus 1 dx. Okay, so minus root of 1 minus x square is okay. Cos inverse x is also okay. Minus x plus constant is what I'll be getting in this particular question and that's the final answer. With the help of this, you get the final answer easily for this particular question.